Okay, so first of all, select everything and insert a chart. Then to make a secondary axis is nice and easy. Just double click on one of the lines to open up the formatting bar and change it to the secondary axis. Then to make a third axis is more complicated, but we are going to make two charts. So press Ctrl D to duplicate the chart. Then on the second chart, delete the blue and the orange lines. Then on the first chart, delete the gray line. And on the second chart, change the fill to no fill. And we are going to line these two charts up over the top of each other to make it look like we have an Excel chart with three axes. But there's quite a lot of formatting we need to do before then. Go to view and remove the grid lines. Then remove the border from both of the charts. Then on the second chart, remove the grid lines. We can't delete the chart title because if we do, the size of the chart will expand and we want this to stay the same size as the other chart. So instead, go to text options and change the text fill to no fill. Then the next thing to do is to add axis titles to all of this to make it clear which axis goes with which data set. So I will make it equal to this column heading here and then change the color to match the line. So make the font blue and bold and bigger and also change the font here. Then on the axes, change the line to be blue and make it thicker. And I will do that to the other two axes as well, making sure to change the color. Okay, and now if I line the two charts up over the top of each other, we get something closer to what we actually want. But at the moment, the gray and orange axes are overlapping. So in order to fix this, we will change the maximum and minimum on this X axis. We will decrease the minimum a little bit, and this will cause the gray line to be shifted to the right and create a gap between the gray line and the gray axis, which is where the orange axis is going to go. So I will change the eight to a five. Then I need to change the maximum back to what it was before in order to match the other chart. Then I don't want this X axis to have labels on it, but I can't just delete them because that will change the size of the chart. So go to text options and change the text fill to no fill. Then for the time being, I will change the axis line to be a nice bright color and to be really thick to make it easier to line up the charts. So line up the end of the pink line with the beginning of the blue line. Then hold down control to select both charts and go to shape format and align and align middle to make sure both the charts are perfectly lined up horizontally. Then expand the chart with the gray axes on it until the gray dots line up with the blue and the orange dots. So we'll just move it to the left a little Okay, and now that that is lined up, we no longer need this pink line down here, so change it to no line. And also take the legend here 
and move it to the side. Now we will change the axis maximum and minimum values so that all the lines aren't squashed together. So for the orange line, I will change the minimum to be 60 and the maximum to be 120. Then for the gray axis, I'll change the minimum to five and the maximum to 30. And now the lines are more spread out. Now, if you want this chart to have a border, go to insert and insert a rectangle and draw it over the top of the two charts. Then send it to the back and change the shape outline to black and the shape fill to white. Then select one of the charts and press Control A to select all. Go to Shape, Format and Group Everything. And now we have everything grouped together so we can move it around as if it were one object. Okay, so in this video, I have made what looks like a Excel chart with three axes by creating two charts and lining them up over the top of each other. Okay, and that is everything.